I am okay. Hey guys, so excuse me. I am in a sleeper shirt. You would have never known that if I wouldn't have told you. But this video I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it is called all of the palettes that I have received over the Boxy Charm. Um, like since I've had Boxy Charm, all the palettes I have gotten. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I don't want this video to be long. I want it to be short because I really have nothing to say about the palettes. Um, I use them all, and I will tell you in the video which ones I use more of, just because I like. I don't know. It's just. I'm attracted to the colors, I guess you could say. So go ahead, stay tuned. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Buff Collection um, Pure Cosmetics. And the picture is going to be on one of these sides um, of me showing you guys the colors. Just a picture of the showing the colors in case I can't really get a good video of the color. So this comes with a, with a mirror. It came with an eyeshadow. Uh, eyeshadow. Oh yeah, eyeshadow brush, and this palette reminds me of the Naked palettes. I guess you could say the colors. Is it a what color? Is it the Naked palette gold or um, rose gold? Like I, it got like rosy colors in there and stuff like that. This is what this reminds me of. I like the fact that it's like this type of case. Um, I don't know. I think it's really. I mean, it's really pretty. It's really neat. It's nice. I have not really reached for this only because I feel like since it's so rosy, I don't have like when I want to darken up my like darken up my look, I don't have that shade to put in my outer corner if I want to darken it up without it being so like shimmery, glittery type going on. So I have that one. Next I have is the blush and bronzer mini palette. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've used this one time and I've used the cranberry color at the top. Well, it's like a reddish color um, that I've used at the top. That's it. So, I don't know. If it wasn't for this color, I wouldn't even like use it at all. I don't know. I'm just attracted to this color, but I mix it when I do use it. But other than that, I don't, I don't really, I don't use this. I'm actually thinking about giving that to my niece because I just, I don't. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with my gold palette. Um, is um it's by Coastal Scents called Caro. Now, I'm gonna post the video down below that I actually use this in. I created a smoky look with a cranberry look, lip. Um, I love that this has a mirror, a mirror as well. You know, as you see, you got your grays, you got your golds, um, your browns, your blacks. I love this is a smoky palette mini palette for real love it next i got two studio makeup um two studio makeup palettes uh, like this and i just realized that the brown one that you see right here is called warm up and the one that's more purpley grayish colors it's called cool down y'all this is my fave Rich. I'm gonna try to show you guys the top, but they're super light in my picture. Like when I took the picture, you cannot see the color at all. But it's like that in the cool down, no, in the warm up one as well. Yeah, in the warm up one, um, you can't really see the top. But I like it. I normally use, of course, I'm gonna show you this one because this is like my favorite one. This color by itself in the crease, whatever I want. This color. And this one, my favorite two colors. And then uh, this one right here or this one for, you know, under the brow. However I like it. But, yeah, I'm showing you those because the, the this palette right here is, like, my top number one. Um, that one I just showed you. And then this is the warm-up one that I like. This is a warm-up, right? Yeah. Got your browns. And it's cute. I don't really care for the packaging. You know, I don't, I don't care for that. I wish it had, like, a closed-off one. But that's okay. It's still pretty. Next, we're going to go on with this big fella. And I got this Ofra Pro palette um, for your, you know, your eyeshadows that are individual and they're magnet. It came in my Boxy Charm box. I was super excited when I got this because I would have never bought this. And all of these shades in here, and I'm showing you this one as well just because I want to. Because <laughs> this one I got from Shade Moisture. I think this is the one I got from Shade Moisture. Yeah. I see. I think I think that's one from Shade Moisture. If I'm not mis yeah, that one from Shade Moisture, this big brown one. When I was trying to find a color to contour with, and it did not do no justice because it wasn't showing up on my face. I was using that, and then I just put it in here and as a um as um an eyeshadow or something like that. And these eyeshadows right here are from um, Makeup Geek. I think all of those 
all of those are from Makeup Geek, if I'm not mistaken. Most of them are from Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek and somewhere else. Um, and then these are from Makeup Geek as well. So, really, really pretty. Next, I have all of the reveal palettes. And I'm going to put all the pictures. You got the Revealed 1. You got the Reveal 2. You got the Reveal 3D. And the Reveal Smoky. Now, the first one I got was obviously, was obviously the first one. And that's the one that I got most of the use from. Actually, the first one and the second one. Um, because it got a lot of colors that I would use. Like them shimmery colors when I want to put on my lid. And, you know, so this is like my, was my go-to. Until the second one came about. And... I'm going to tell you exactly the colors as you can probably see what I was using, which was I was using the brown, I was using the cranberry one, and this um, gold one right here doing like a gold smoky with a cranberry brown look going on. Um, so yeah, so the real the reveal 2 got most use out of them for those particular colors. Love them. And the last one I got is by Naked Cosmetics, and I'm going to show you this one as well because baby, do y'all see this? I'm, I probably can, and like inside a picture that I did with this look, and I had put it on my Snapchat, but um, I'll put it, maybe I'll add it, and you can see um, that, but I use this. I just did one with this one, actually, on Monday. Wasn't really feeling the look. I want to try it again, and uh, maybe spray my brush, even though you don't really have to spray the brush to pick up the pigment, because it picks up a lot, but... I think I should have sprayed my brush on that particular look. I don't know why I just felt like it would have did something. But I had that one on the lid and that one in my um at the bottom. Uh but when I did this one, I had a blue crease and y'all, 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 the look was popping. Okay, I thought girl I thought it was somebody, somebody wife or something, somebody baby mama. Okay, let me quit playing. So that's it for this video, guys. Really, really short, straight to the point. Hopefully I didn't talk too long. If I did, trust me, I will edit that out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things of, of filming, but I can't make no promises. You know, this is just a hobby when I feel like it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.